only an hour and a half almost into this stream and we finished the game so i'm glad i downloaded that content so we can make the stream a little longer today Oh, that's cool. I've never actually seen this screen before because as soon as I started our playthrough, I never actually quit the game. I just realized I've not seen this main menu screen. That's funny. All right, here we go. Extra content. Uh, Banned footage, right. So this is the shit where you can actually play as Clancy more, right? Besides the happy birthday ending that he gets, which is pretty fucking horrible. <laughs> you, you can play as all these other missions that he experiences in the house. Um, I remember watching this playthrough on YouTube, and I remember watching this, and parts of Not a Hero, which is why I'm excited to play. And even more excited that it's free. But this one is pretty sick, right? I'm tempted to try it, but I remember it too well, number one. And number two, it's like, more expensive than this game itself. I got this game for like, nine or ten bucks, I'm pretty sure. It was super cheap on the PS Store. And this is like twenty dollars, which is kind of funny. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually just play not a hero here and I have a feeling it won't be as scary right it's gonna be a lot more action gamey a lot more action focused kind of like the ending of this game or of the base game all right so let's read this right Chris Redfield is a high profile BSAA member who has resolved many a bioterrorism crisis over his lengthy career now the new Umbrella, reborn as a PMC, has asked for his assistance in capturing Lucas Baker, right? Fucking company. Alright, so we're hunting down Lucas. This has got to be him. Is it ready? Can we begin? It's cool how he's standing on that thing we were just on as Ethan. Man, I can't help it, man. We've got work to do. All right, so he was in constant communication with uh, whatever this organization was who developed Eve. Did we find out the name of the organization? Chris, did we lose him? No, no. Ethan Winters has been secured. He's alive and well, considering. It's cool. I was start. Baker. Right now, he's our only link to the connections. He's next on my list. Damn, Chris looks like a badass in this game. From what I understand, he looks super different across all the games. They constantly change up his appearance drastically. He's like Christian Bale or some shit. With how Christian Bale is constantly changing his appearance drastically with his method acting. <laughs> That's basically Chris. Oh, that's cool. We have like a whole ass visor. How many men did we lose? Three of our best. Their last transmission was near a lab that should be just ahead. I'm going to need you to check it out. Got it. <laughs> Damn, this is actually kind of badass. <laughs> I forgot about this whole uh, visor UI thing where his uh, missions are being, uh, or his objectives are being updated. Right, like now we're actually playing with the big boys, right? We're actual, real, seasoned military personnel coming in here to deal with, like, just another Tuesday situation. All right, this is just an like an another average Tuesday for Chris here. Damn, like, look at the power of that weapon. What even is this? Is this the... Yeah, let's look at his stock here, right? Samurai Edge. An Albert W. model handgun designed for the sole purpose of eliminating bioweapons. That's pretty badass. It's so cool to go to like a drastically different character here after playing as Ethan, who was just like an average nobody. He's just like you and me, a random dude thrust into a pretty horrible situation. And now we're playing as the dude who is meant to deal with these horrible situations. And it's so cool to like see that dichotomy. Um... Pretty sick, pretty sick. Thor's hammer. I'm liking the name of these weapons, by the way. They're pretty badass. So it's the same tunnels. Oh, nice. That has a red dot sight on it. Uh, definitely uh, be on the lookout for the YouTube Let's Play. 
uh, of this part of the game. It should go up in about a week or so, right? Gonna be a couple days before this part goes up, but... The recording won't have any drop frames, so don't worry. Oh my god, this gun's so fucking strong. <laughs> it feels good to finally one-shot all these bozos who gave me so much trouble. I love it, man. Alright, Lucas. Any idea what Lucas is up to down here? We're still analyzing the data, but it looks like he's been running experiments with an E-type mutamycete. Let's hope those men haven't become a part of those experiments. Like how Chris just sounds so disconnected from the situation because just another day for him on the job. He's like, all right, well, let's just hope that everyone's vibing, right? That's so good. Oh, hey, zombie, what's up? <laughs> I love his whole vibe. This is also really cool just playing this back to back after right after having played the main game. Because if I understand this right, I think this came out in December of 2017. Which was like a whole ass, almost a year after the main game came out. And so people coming back into this must have been kind of rusty and wouldn't have really felt the difference between this dude and Ethan as much. I mean, they would, but not to this extent, I don't think, playing it back to back. Oh, hey, guys. I'm getting you out of here. Leave me. It's too late. We're both walking out of here. I got news for you. What? That's not gonna happen. Uh oh. Ooh, I <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Now you can try and take that off all you want, but I'd advise against. My hand might slip and. Lucas! No! Uh... Oops. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. <sighs> What the fuck? And I don't bounce your head off the ceiling. The same goes for your little soldier friends too. Adios, muchachos. God damn, that was actually kind of cool. I did not see that coming. I don't remember any of this shit. Again, I think I might have just seen bits and pieces of this. Rebreather mode. Oh, God. What? Oh, no. Poison. Get me out of here. Get me out of this cursed land. Your oxygen tank is at 50%. I can see that, madam. Oh, fucking hell. Open the gates. <laughs> Med injector. Looks like you're clear of any contamination. Whew. There's no time. I don't want to give that asshole a head start. Understood. Just be careful. Bomb on my arm. God damn. Lucas is surprisingly formidable. That that skinny asshole would just be hiding in a corner like a little bitch. Cowering in fear. But apparently not. He's putting up a good fight. Wait, can I, uh... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Chris, we finished analyzing the oh, I love the way he holds his knife, too. It's like, we thought. The son of a bitch has been sending status reports like an actual soldier, right? Find him and bring him in. We can't let this happen again. Are you sure you just don't want to recruit him? <sighs> Chris, we've been over this. Maybe the BSAA is convinced. If they weren't, I wouldn't be here. But working with Umbrella is going to take some getting used to on my part. Ooh. I know it must be difficult. And to tell the truth, a lot of our members on the mission and maybe we can continue this conversation when you get back okay sure whatever interesting so he's kind of reluctant to be working with them I'm, it's cool that they're going into detail on this whole umbrella thing and i'm glad they're showing parts of that okay so this is all new i wonder if this was planned content for the base game but due to time limitations or something, they had to cut it. 
or maybe because it will be like i wonder if initially their plan was to have you continue playing as ethan and take care of lucas as well like how you did with the rest of the baker family but it must have gotten scrapped in development and then they decided hey you know what since it was part of our original plan we'll just release it as free dlc as like an epilogue we're gonna make it cool we're gonna add some sprinkles at the top of this nice little vanilla dip donut and make you play as chris and indeed it is very cool so I'm wondering how long this DLC is. I'm assuming probably like an hour to two hours. And that's assuming if you know what you're doing. But I'm hoping to be uh, done with it by uh, the end of today's stream. That would be great if we could finish everything RE7 today. So that tomorrow we can just get right into RE8 over the weekend. Oh jeez. You okay in there? Redfield. Don't worry. I'm gonna find a key to this thing and get you out of there. Uh why do I feel like that's not gonna happen? <laughs> Didn't you learn anything from the first guy? So I'm assuming you'll find uh one more of these dudes, right? Because there were three in total who went in. Or actually, no, that is a third dude because one of them was killed beforehand and Lucas was pretending to be him. Okay. This is the virus police. Come out with your hands up. Key. Ooh, there's a key there, apparently. They have like a super punch as well, apparently, right? How's that work again? Alright, let's red dot sight this shit. Gosh darn you guys. I was enjoying my Tuesday evening. Watching soap operas. On my big ol' 4K TV. Then I had to deal with you bozos. Yeah, this is very action-focused. And I kind of like that, right? You know, like I said, I, I prefer, personally, the more helpless and less action-focused and more survival approach to this game, which was like the first act of uh, the base game where you were surviving against the bakers in the house as Ethan. But this is actually pretty fucking cool, too. My only gripe of it, I would say, is that... Maybe there aren't a whole lot of different enemies, like enemy variety is kind of lacking. But I guess that's maybe the point, right? Because you're not really in a big open area after all. You're just on one estate and everyone's going to be samey here. Uh, due to the context of the story and the setting. Okay, that's a big boy. Come for supper? Please tell me what I'm looking at. <laughs> okay, yeah, definitely tell me what I'm looking at. That is bigger than anything I have ever seen before. Good thing we're motherfucking Chris. This guy conveniently shows up when there's actual certified military personnel around. Not the most helpless tool in the shed. Thanks for being so considerate, bad guys. Oh. Ramrods? Is that English? The hell's a ramrod? Ram ranch? Wait, hold on. That did something. Ramrod, a fancy word for a grenade? Fancy schmancy? <laughs> Yo, we didn't pick up the key yet, right? Where did we drop that shit? Okay, there it is. I'm just gonna run away from this dude and go open the door and save the soldier. I'm gonna need some backup here. I'm coming, my dude. Please tell me I came through here. Oh, yes, I did. I wonder if there was a way to kill him back there that we were supposed to kind of like do. I mean, you don't have to kill anyone in this game besides the bosses if you don't want to, clearly. 
Or we were kind of expected to dip here and then go back up there later. Anywho, is that my priorities? I'm here to save my best bud. Everything's all right now. That's just what he wants you to think. I'm just the bait, and you fell for it. <laughs> I knew it. Did he learn nothing from the first guy? Shit. Take the filter. <laughs> I'm a mask. Hurry, or you'll die. No. Oh man, what a noble sacrifice. Your sacrifice shall not be forgotten, mask man. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Lucas? Oh, that's the villain's name. I'm stupid. I was like, no, Lucas. Don't kill Lucas. Lucas? Are there two guys named Lucas? Shit, my oxygen's low. I wasn't doing anything to escape. You might actually die. Oh, my God. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so dumb. That's funny. I was just staring at that dude in awe at what was happening. And I completely forgot to take note of my oxygen. Can I not see that a million times, please? I don't like seeing, get, seeing heads getting chopped off. Because my head can't do any thinking. Grab the mask. There we go. Oh my god. It didn't work the first time I did that. It, put it on, dude! We'll have time to mourn him later. Sheesh. <laughs> I like how he's just casually staring at the helmet while he's at 1% oxygen, and he's like, I'm sorry. I grade filter. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so now I don't actually lose oxygen uh, during the contamination. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick in a very different definition of the word. All right, I'm uh, going to wait. Should I go back this way or should I go back to the thick of things with the literal thick boy we were fighting earlier? I can't wait to get my hands on that asshole. Just okay, definitely here. Five, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Right, we need some kind of oh, we need the key. No, we got the key to open the cell. We need some item there, inevitably. So, okay, I think... Okay, so there's one more soldier. We still need to find, I'm assuming. Night vision required. Should I not be here right now? Uh, clearly. I feel like I'm missing something still. Definitely the night vision goggles. From the third soldier, I'm assuming. Right, okay, this makes sense. So we get new tech every time we find a soldier. Let's try this area now. Let's heal up. Give myself a little shot of something. Here we go. This is crazy, though. I'm really surprised that this is all free. And again, it kind of makes sense, right? Because it definitely feels like scrapped content from the base game. I really do feel like their original plan was to have you play as Ethan here to give closure to the whole uh, Clancy portion of the game. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Lucas portion. But that they might have ran out of time is what I think happened. And they were like, hey, that's cool. We'll put this back in the game as a sort of epilogue. And we'll make it bigger and better, and you'll be able to play as Chris. Okay, sick. So now we can go through here indefinitely with this new tech. Uh oh, I'm low on ammo. Oh, shit. It's one of those bozos. It's one of those untouchables. We can't be touched with the power of lead. We must be touched in other ways. That sounded kind of sexual. Unintentionally. Okay, can I get past you, please? Excuse me, I'm coming through. Thank you. 
Thank you for being so kind and considerate. Okay, that's locked. But not for long. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Yeah, thank you again, dudes, for being here. I know we had Howlock stop in, Johnny Utah, Legendary Stepdad. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. Not you, though. No thank you to you. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> what the hell? This shit's crazy. Okay, what is this door? Backup power room. Let's turn on the power if Con Zombies has taught me one thing. Or anything. <gasps> Night vision device. Let's go. We got it. Those ramrods should allow you to take down the new white variants. Good. Ramrods. Oh, you mean the bullets? Anti-regen ammo. That's what it means. I see. Ma'am, why can't you be more direct? And more straightforward about what these are. It save me uh, a lot of anxiety. Probably shaved off five years worth of having hair. With the amount of anxiety I just got. Not knowing what I was meant to get. <laughs> I love that about this game, by the way. I think a big part of the horror in this game, and what makes it so scary, is being chased and not knowing what to do or what to get. On your first playthrough. Especially the start with Jack in the in the house and how he's chasing you and you're trying to figure out where to get the uh, or what to do with the wooden statuette. You're like, oh shit, oh my god, what do I do? Okay. Let's get all these boxes. So wait, hold on. The anti region ammo, this has gotta be it, right? Yeah. I drop down there. Would that be a good idea? Well, it's gotta lead to something. You gotta go where you don't know. Okay, sick. Like how the loop of this DLC is you keep going into different parts of the tunnel to get different tech. To be able to take down Lucas eventually. This is some really cool level design, I have to say. Okay, so those are all pulled down. Oh, I know what to do. The markings on the door tell us what configuration. Okay, so up, down, up. Let's go. Thank you, Brain, for being kind of smart. But not really. Okay, up, down, and up. Cool. Alrighty. Well, hey, little... things that I don't really want to know what you are. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. See you later. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Please don't tell me they're lizards. Hey, man, I can fight Targu moldy zombies all day long, but lizards, that's where I draw the line. These are too scary for me. Less is more. Oh, fuck. They're like the face huggers from Alien or some shit. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Alright, let's change rounds here. Actually, let me knife them. Save some ammo. Wait a sec. Did the lift not... Oh, it did work. I was at an opening earlier. What? <laughs> What was that about? Was that, like, scripted? Did the game want us to fight some of them? Come on, game. That's cheating. Well, then again, that's, like, the theme of this entire DLC is, like, Lucas cheating and doing all these traps and stupid shit to try and kill us. <laughs> Great aim with that knife. Oh, nice. An antique coin. That's huge. Oh. 
Shotgun ammo. Nice. -o. Okay, one of these dudes. All right. It's time to test out some new lead. Say hello to my little friend. Died before he could say hello. Very rude. Oh, jeez. Turrets. Wow. <laughs> That's a very interesting surprise. Peekaboo. Ah, shit. Wait, what the hell? Stop teabagging. Oh my god. I'm so good at this game. As you can tell. Wait, what? Can I not destroy it? Oh, I, I literally can't. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Make a break for it. Oh my god. What the heck was that? I was like forced to tank there. <laughs> I'm actually just going to ignore those dudes. Because I'm running kind of dry in rounds. Oh god. I don't know where the hell I'm going. But I know I'm going... So I was definitely going somewhere. Uh, somewhere to get Zach fared. As you could probably tell. And for those of you who caught that reference, <laughs> you're legends. I just got Zach fared hard. Okay, I'm, um, not gonna go down that way. Is that where we came from? I don't even freaking know anymore. I'm getting so turned around. Punch without aiming. Oh my god, what? I can just one-shot people like that? Wait, are you serious? So you're telling me I could have saved so much ammo by just shooting them once and then literally one-tapping them with my knuckles? Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this is new. New turret area. Can't destroy the bitch. And dismantle it from behind? I literally can't. Wow. What the hell? Did it just 360? Oh no, it's trying to kill that dude. That's cool. Machines answer to no one. Oh god, one of those? Give me a break. Only have two more of these. Good thing they're good at one-shotting. Be with you in a moment. I'm dealing with your friend first. Shoot you in the deck. <laughs> oh shoot, this way. That's new. Nice. Sight for sore eyes. Got some handgun ammo. Gosh darny darn. This man makes a mean knuckle sandwich. Alright. Up this way, I suppose. Oh my god, what the fuck? Definitely shooting up here. <laughs> These things are out to get me. I don't know what else I expected. Okay. Let's deal with you. It really does feel good to be powerful in this DLC, though, for once. <laughs> Okay, so this guy we can't uh, stagger for the one punch. Can't be one punch man on this dude. Okay. 
Okay, Nito Burrito. Okay, then. Well, actually, it can be one punch man on him. <laughs> Good thing I can, because he was way too close. Without me even realizing. Wait, are they just coming back? The hell? Ow! Rude. Rude much? Gosh darn. Wait, yeah, what the hell? Dude, they're just gonna keep coming. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go this way, because I have no guarantee that door is. We are in a really bad position right now. <laughs> Let us get out of said position. Okay, thankfully that door is open. Oh my god. What a battle. <laughs> right off like all ammo here. That shit was movie-like, man. Holy shit, that was like a movie-like clutch right there. Dude realizes he's out of ammo, he's cornered. Oh, a door. Holy. Breath of fresh goddamn air. Oh, we got the night vision goggles. That was actually the big thing. Right. Here we go. Now we can go through this area. Forgot about whatever the hell this is that's going on. Okay, good thing I have some first aid. Okay, so they're pressure plates. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. They're pressure plates that are getting us. We have to carefully navigate around those. This man is definitely putting his uh, engineering skills to good use. I totally am not saying the word good sarcastically. Oh, nice, another antique coin. I like how this game has an explanation for how Lucas was able to build all this if you examine the contents of his room closely enough. Like, he has all those engineering trophies. In that sense, I really like how Resident Evil approaches environmental storytelling, right? Like, if you explore enough, if you really pay attention to your surroundings enough and look at all the little props and assets and environmental tidbits, you can find out more about each character and... Even the lore of the game. That's really cool in my opinion. And it's not eventually shoved down your throat. You know, and like there's not like a huge exposition moment later on that kind of tells you about all that stuff. It's all kind of like side information that, hey, if you explore enough, if you want to, like if you're curious, you can find out about, you know. It's really cool how this game kind of does that as it encourages exploration. Okay, oh my goodness. I wonder if there's a way to, like, speedrun this whole thing without the night vision goggles, if you just remember where everything is. I'd imagine there's, like, a like a big speedrun strat involving something like this, where you just run through all of this shit without the goggles. Lock from the other side. Okay! Ugh. Hi there. It's kind of funny how the creatures themselves in this game are nowhere near as scary as ordinary humans. Well, definitely not the word ordinary. I wouldn't use that to describe them, but... Human-looking mofos who are just batshit insane are 15 times scarier than these... beasts. <laughs> Here we go. Down you go, and up that guy comes. And down he goes in one shot. Is he dead? I can never tell what the ragdoll physics in this game. Okay. <laughs> now he is. Push this dude forward. Bunch of balloons. These no more happy birthday games. Sorry, God, Lucas has a happy birthday fixation.
I knew it. Oh my god. I was only joking about the happy birthday shit game. Oh my god, I literally just manifested that. We got like the clown and everything. Wow. Well, uh, definitely uh, don't put your hand in that, Chris. Oh, fuck. Although knowing you, your special military grade armor probably won't allow that clown's blunt ass fingernails to cut through your protective gear and make a loser blood tattoo edgy shit thing on your forearm. So you're you're fine. Oh what? Oh no, one of those. You don't have the special rounds either. Okay, so we got the clown key. Right? So, there's something you need to be able to use that on. Okay, I'm kind of low as F. And T-Coin, I need that. Seeing if there are any special rounds around here. There are not. Oh god. Well, that guy can kill, no problem. Good stuff. Is a clown key on that? Oh, we can. Okay, so that's a clown symbol, I guess. That is a Ronald McPennywise symbol. Damn, a lot of laser traps. Good thing we can get him out of the equation. Or just it out of the equation, seeing as we only had to shoot one. Hey, you okay? That might change Hang now. On. I'm coming. <laughs> Are we though? Are we gonna go for that guy? You sure about that, Chris? You know what they say, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice. You know how this turned out with the other two guys? Okay, okay, I definitely need to shoot some of these. Or not. <laughs> I just realized they were rigged up with a bunch of explosive barrels. Hey, you okay? <laughs> Hang on. I'm coming. I like how this game knows. It just knows you're going to try certain things and you're going to pay the price for it. So I think we got to shoot the ones that are not hooked up to the canisters because we do have to shoot some inevitably. Right? Like, okay, like this one, for example. I think we can shoot that and get away with it. Never mind. I think if you shoot any of them, you're fucked. Okay, we're able to drop down like so. Okay, that wasn't so bad. What's up, dog? Marquez? Oh, this guy's a name. Chris, old buddy. What the? You could die now, Chris. Fuck! What? How did he live? What the fuck is happening? Okay, he didn't live. I was going to have my arms up in the air, ready to complain, go on Twitter and write like a huge ass college dissertation about why I'm triggered right there because I was going to be like, how come he didn't die over there in that scripted event? But when I tried it, he died. That's injustice game. Hey, you okay? Cancel Capcom. <laughs> Hang on. I'm coming. That's cool though. I like how long that cutscene was. It really made you think you made the right call initially. And that it was meant to happen like a scripted event that was supposed to happen there, but nope. You got trolled. Okay, then. Well, well where are we? Majula, where I have to drop down this creepy ass well? 
All right, you know what, actually? We gotta disable all of these without shooting them. That's gotta be it. There we go. <laughs> that was such a troll, though. I don't think there's a single human in existence who on their first hey, playthrough didn't interact with them first. And I want to say they had the same reaction. Yeah, it's you. Thanks. I was beginning to think we've been left behind. Oh, well, nice. For once, he's chilling. We actually rescued someone for once. This is going to be like the Carmine of this game. For those of you who played Gears of War, <laughs> the one Carmine who lived. Luke is a fucking psycho. I'm sure what's worse, him or those things. Or is he? I don't like the way this is being built up. I have a bad feeling. I have a really bad feeling, actually. Over here. We can get out up through there. The way it's being. You gotta be kidding me. Fuck! 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 No! Oh my god! What the fuck? I actually like that guy, man. I actually had hopes that he would survive. I had high hopes. Three men, Lucas. Three of my men dead because of you. This ends, and it ends now. Well, I don't think so. It's about to be four dead soldiers in a minute. You're going to fail, then you are going to die. What the fuck? Oh my god, we're in a countdown? A situation here. <laughs> oh shit. All right, it's on like Donkey Kong. I'm coming for your ass, Chris. Oh, wait, that's me. I'm an idiot. Or Lucas. Okay, this is actually kind of sick. Oh, my God. I knew it, though, man. The moment they played that music and the fact that he was in front of us and leading us out, like... That was, like, trope number one of the guy in a horror game or movie dying before the main character. If there's any side guy who you come and rescue who's leading you out of a situation and is in front of you, they're gonna get killed. Can I actually save during this countdown? I, I think I can. <laughs> That's cool. Red shutter door. Can I not put the clown key in here right now? Okay, I gotta deactivate the bomb first. I thought that's what it was gonna make us do, is like, finally use a clown key there. Okay, it says, yes, yeah, so we gotta go to those canisters, she said, for the liquid nitrogen. No time to waste, bozos. Got a date with some liquid nitrogen. Mining work area. Oh, that's where he fought that big tupster. Or, we didn't really fight. It wasn't much of a fight as much as it was a... <laughs> Me running the other way. <laughs> okay, this ends now. Music is actually pretty epic here. God damn. Oh shit, it's like all of them are coming at me at once now during this intense moment. It's pretty sick. Right, so this is the this is the work area, right? Liquid Nitrogen, where are you? I identify yourself. Oh, in there. Yes. This door that was locked earlier. Open the door. Open the gates. Quickly. Incendiary grenade. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, fuck you. Oh, man. God, I, I gotta get around him. There we go. When you have the special bullets. Wait, what? We're just back out here. Wait, never mind. No, this is new shit. Thank God. The liquid nitrogen is just beyond that room. Okay, special rounds. Let's go. Uh. Ow! What the fuck? Excuse me? Oh, not a puzzle in the midst of all the- Oh, fuck! Oh my god. The big dude from before. That's lovely. 
Oh, we gotta get him to explode on there. I see. I think I got it. Yeah, we gotta get him to explode. On top of... Wait, shotgun ammo. What the hell? I don't even have a shotgun game. Ow. Wait, did we kill him? I don't even know. Okay, we definitely did not kill him. Meta injector. We need more rounds. We need more special rounds. Wait, never mind. We don't. It says regular bullets work on him. Oh yeah, this is a shotgun. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I forgot. This goes to a red dot sight. I keep forgetting this isn't a AR. Sorry, I thought he was one of those special ones that you had to shoot with the regen ammo. So, nope, he's just a regular guy. You gotta kill him near the canister, I think. Oh, he grabbed me. That's not good. Get off of me! Never mind. Damn. That is one spicy, spongy meatball. He just refuses to die. Well, that all changes now. Oh, the weak spots. Or at least they look like them. Damn it, this guy is so strong. Crawl away! Heal up! You gotta, gotta, gotta get him to run towards this, right? Wait, can we destroy these, maybe? Never mind, we just have to keep shooting him. There we go. <laughs> Took us a minute. Find the nitrogen. Wait, what? I thought we had to get him to... Okay, no, no, no. We had to move it ourselves, but the fight was actually mandatory, I see. I thought we had to kill him near this, get him to explode like those other big dudes, and then destroy this barricade. But I guess this works too. Oh, shit. I forgot the um, liquid nitrogen back here. Right. It's right there. I passed it. I'm gonna get you. I got you. Nothing. Oh, jeez. Uh, 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 I did it. Take it off before he thaws and restarts. Uh, oh, shoot. That's how he gets a bomb off. Nice. Shit. Uh, yep. Good idea. Uh, Might want to toss that. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, Lucas. <laughs> oh, let's go. That was pretty badass. Okay, time for the ultimate showdown now. We're showing a room located behind the shield machine. Lucas? It's possible. See if you can get in yep. there and check it out. Got it. Knew it. You have to go back to that area now. With a Ronald McPennywise face. This is a really cool DLC, man. I really like the way it's structured. Right, the level design is really cool. Like how you progress through it and... The way everything is done here, it's just, it's pretty great. Oh damn, that looks like a giant ass gate. Sealing away a giant ass Eldritch Abomination. There's some spooky doopy shit. Got my gun out! A little pea shooter with two bullets. I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> my knife. Ooh, that's cool. You can change your grip. Or not. Yeah, you can. That's cool. You hold the left trigger. You can start thrusting like that. Interesting. Some kind of door. Alright, here we go. Ready to knife some shit. Just kidding. Got way more ammo now. 
Let's say we just got nitrogen rounds. No, Nero stun grenade. That's what we got. Christopher, stay with us, I see. Very impressive, my friend. Very impressive. Let's just see how impressive you really are. <sighs> Ooh, it's getting funky. Doing some synth wave beats. I'm ready to do some beating myself. I hear the beats and I do the beats. Come on, punch! Stop reloading! Let's go. Okay, a big boy. Okay, it's time for the big boy rounds. Ouchies. At least we got that guy, that guy too, I hope. Yes, we did. Very cool and good. Alright. That's that. Maybe you're good. Maybe you got lucky. What do you say find out? Uh, I don't think I want to. I think I'm the farmer, and we're gonna leave it at that. Luck doesn't get rid of a grenade that's about to explode on your wrist, my friend. Oh god. Ooh, that's a collat. Almost. Let's pretend it was. Let's make believe. Ah, shit, I'm running dry as fuck. Keep away from me! Huge. Oh, God. Inject thyself. Dude, I just want to equip my knife, please. There we go. Oh, my God. Yeah, literally. Yo. Not a lot. <laughs> I'm running out of ammo. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, shit. That guy with no ammo? Oh, fuck you. I'm just gonna run past him. Like a normal person. Shotgun ammo. Huge, huge, huge. Okay, that was huge, but it's a dead end. <laughs> shit. Ah, oh, get out of my way, you freaks! I did not mean to press that. I panicked. <laughs> I thought it was way lower than it actually was. Okay. Don't forget. I'm Chris motherfucking Redfield. Baby. Yeah. And don't you forget it. Let's go. Ow. 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 They're still alive. Motherfuckers. They're gonna explode. I remember. I can't tell if they're dead or not, ever. Okay. Oh, my lord. Oh my lord, how much of this shit? Yeah, man, me cornered AF there. <laughs> They're still alive. The hell are we doing? <laughs> there we go. Oof. Can that please be the end of it? Thank you. I'll consider it. Okay. Okay. No more. 
totally not coked out son of Tony Hawk and uh You won't get any sympathy from me, asshole. I know, I know. I've done I've done terrible things. Horrible things. I killed your man. I tortured them. And I enjoyed every second, soldier boy. Soldier boy. Like I'm going to enjoy watching you burn. So it looks like if Tony Hawk and Troy Baker had a son, he was completely deranged and coked out. <laughs> TikTok? I don't like TikTok. I never used it. For the love of God, shut the fuck up. I love that. Get off the get the fuck off the screen. Chet. Seven. What the? What the hell? Ah! How do I open this? That's where I came from. Fuck me. Oh shit! <laughs> what be the way out? Don't want to die here. Uh, nor do I. And jump across to that thing. Four. What the fuck? Wait. Destroy that. <gasps> Incendiary. Can I burn all that shit? I can't. Oh, there's a hatch. <gasps> At the last second. Fuck, it's locked and we're dead. Peace out, lads. I accept my death. With pride. <laughs> okay, we're getting close though. Jesus. Some good trial and error going on. And that was an oddly long still on that. Please work. I saw some fire. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Use that strength of yours. All right. Let's go, soldier boy. I'm out. Peace. Shit. Oh, jeez, man. Okay, for a second I thought I would drop right into the fire. Holy hell. Chris, are you okay? <laughs> this yeah. DLC is badass. I'm dead. This might be our chance. Who do you send it to? We're still decrypting that. Just get Lucas. Keep me posted. Yeah, I'm curious who he's been emailing here. Who's this lad he's been sexting this whole time? And by the way, thank fuck that turret wasn't on. What the hell? 12 minutes after dose. Cell calcification. Jesus. Vomiting. What is this dosage? What are they giving them? The E-series thing? The Evelyn thing? Nice. More anti-regen rounds. Oh, holy shit. Those have got to be the test subjects, I just realized. Oh my god. WM. 001. Probably the subject name at the back. One for you, one for you. Insta killed. Yep. And, uh, you're the weakling, so. Actually, I don't have any other ammo, so I'm gonna toss that. I'm gonna save my uh, anti regen rounds. I'm gonna use this grenade here. Where exactly? Nice. Oh, nice. I almost curb stomped in there. That was pretty badass. An injector? Oh, stomp without aiming. 
<laughs> let's go. I wonder if most of these mechanics are in the base game and I just never realized them. Creepy dolls. Who are those? I have no idea. Oh, it's got to be uh, Eve, right? E001? Evelyn? Yeah, is that like Evelyn and Mia? I literally didn't, cannot tell. She just plays with dolls all day. Oh, so Lucas was secretly observing her and experimenting down here. And taking notes about how Eve was changing and what she was doing. And he was documenting all this. And what's the last one? Yeah, aging has slowed. Ah. Yeah, she's aging all of a sudden. I'm just speed rating these. Right. So she did have accelerated aging. And that's how she became old so fast. Use it if she gets out of control. A necrotoxin. Then that's how he killed her. That's how Ethan killed her. Interesting. Yeah, I'm curious who... Because if it's not Umbrella who he's been in contact with, who are known to be the villains, I wonder who it is then. Very interesting. See, that's what I mean, right? I was mentioning this earlier, but I really like how this game won't tell you all of this really important shit unless you kind of like really pay attention to your surroundings and the environments and read the notes and stuff. Which, I mean, it isn't essential to know this stuff, but it really does add a lot to the story. And in that sense, I really like how Resident Evil encourages this kind of exploration to have these big aha moments. Oh, hey there. No, you don't. Let me use that real quick. So that's a little grenade. There's something for you. And he's already dead. Let's go. Saving the regen rounds here because I really don't want to use those. I'm saving this guy, Lucas. They just gave him my job as lead researcher. Report his behavior at the next meeting with HQ. Yeah, so Lucas was fucked up. And he was doing all sorts of weird shit with the test subjects. See what else is in store for us here. Let's get that handgun immunitian. Lucas. Well, hi there, Lucas. Mucus Lucas, what's up? It's time to get the guy's evil asshole. But first, a word from our sponsor. The power switch. Hello. Lucas. How's it going? Oh, turrets. I like how he's running from us now and we're the one chasing him. Let's go. Finally, the tables have turned in Resident Evil. God damn, they're playing like some Metal Gear Solid-esque music right now. <laughs> Killed off all the connections, researchers. Oh, the connections. That's what they work for. Some lads call the connections. They were poking around where they weren't supposed to when I wasn't looking, but I knew exactly what they were up to. Probably didn't like having a report me. Put them in the cage with some molded Jesus. Damn, this guy is fucking messed up. Okay. 
I know there's going to be a turret out there. How do I rush this bitch? Oh, it doesn't even shoot any ammo. <laughs> Is it like a troll? What? Not even shooting anything. Okay, let's reload. Finally got some shotgun ammo. That shit's busted. <laughs> Scare tactic. How the hell are you still alive? You should be dead. We got your emails. We know you're funneling info to someone. That's none of your goddamn business, Chris. A lot of people out there want to know about our little AV. A lot of people. Nice. Your friends, the connections know about this? They don't strike me as the forgiving type. That's my business. You let me worry about that. You're about to have your hands full. Oh, hey there. Yep, there we go. Big boss fight moment. No wonder we were getting strong syringes. I can't. I, I don't. No. I don't believe it. Believe it. It's over. No. No way. Of course, it's going to transform. Accepted, Lucas. Love that, wouldn't you? Oh, boy. So this is what it feels like. Got a situation down here. <laughs> Got a situation. Tell me something I don't know. You're going to need to proceed with caution. Extreme caution. Oh, well, that's different. Like it have not been since we <laughs> I like this dude's sass. Chris has got sass, man. He's a sass man, not an ass man. A crazy abomination are we fighting this time? The fuck is that? Oh, hello. <laughs> Jeez, he looks like that one mini boss we kept fighting in that game Returnal. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like the Berserker dude. But obviously, a much scarier, bigger, badder version. Okay, I'm just gonna keep my distance, bud. Shoot you in the heart. Your heart's beating? Well, so's mine. And as long as it is, I shall do everything in my power to eradicate you and squish you like the bug you are. Okay, let's get some handgun ammo. Thank you. Oh, no, thank you. I'm gonna run this way. Because I like running. Keeps me uh, fit. And I'm gonna shoot you because that keeps me sane. Oh, God. Ow. Quick, inject thyself. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, look at you. All acrobatic and shit. Oh my god. Oh, I did not mean to press that. Shit. Shit on a stick. That's how it usually works when you get your noggin exposed to a bunch of shotgun lead. Oh god, my action is going down. I gotta kill him. Oh, this is intense. Oh shit, I have no med packs either. Oh god, I shouldn't have, I probably should have waited before doing that. 
Take shots. Tell me there's more shit I can pick up here. Okay, thankfully. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I used too many of my syringes in the beginning. Okay, phase two. Nice, nice, nice. And he got a lot of first aid with us too. No need to worry. All right, keep moving. Oxygen is low as shit. I need oxygen. Oh, wait. We didn't even need oxygen that time. Let's go. <laughs> Pro gamer moment. Beat his ass. GG's. What a fight. All right. It's got to be the end, I'm assuming. <laughs> wow, that's creepy. Over. <laughs> that's badass. Stop it. You need to find a way to shut down the server. There may be some transformer relays you can. <laughs> I love that. Find a way to shut down the server. Okay, shooty, shooty, bang, bang. From your river. What's the sit rep? The facility is clear. Even the newer breeds have been neutralized. That's cool that he just gets the job done. He's like, fuck this shit. I'm just destroying it all. And I'm out of here. All right, that's it. Perimeter wall is up and operational. Good. Think we did any good here? Not for them, unfortunately. But the mold is contained. Hopefully, they're Evie's last victims. Hopefully. Chris, there's a call for you. You need to take it back at the camp. All right. I'm on my way. Ah, uh, yeah. What a legend. Awesome. That was really, really fun. I really enjoyed that DLC. Especially since we played it back to back with the base game. Like I said earlier, having that really stark contrast with how the base game's more helpless survival. I'm surviving against all these crazy things as an average dude kind of horror. And this is more like your specialist who's come in with... Some pretty hard-hitting weaponry to get rid of things you just get rid of on an ordinary Monday, right, on the job. I like how we went from the first thing to that thing, back to back, and we kind of like went from a pure horror thing to a pure action game horror thing. Ooh, we got a new difficulty too. And it's like Johnny Utah said earlier on the stream, I like how this game balances horror and action. I think it does that very well. And like I said, I'm definitely more for the horror side of things when it comes to RE7. And the game uh, scaled it back a little for me uh, midway onwards. Uh, the horror elements, that is. But uh, overall, I loved it. And again, I would give this game a solid 9 out of 10. 
So the other DLCs, again, we're not going to play through those because, um, number one, I think they cost money. And number two, I did YouTube them a long time ago, and I do remember very well what happens in them, right? One of them is really, really cool, the one where you play as Joe and just smash the shit out of things with your knuckle sandwiches, right? And then go save Zoe, and that's how that ends. Um, and the other one is just more Clancy shit, right? The Forbidden Tapes one or whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to start RE8 tomorrow. And what's really cool is this is some impeccable timing, right? Because the DLCs, I believe, just dropped today for RE8, right? The Eve DLC, or not the Eve, but um, the... What's the name of that girl? I forget. Uh, that DLC dropped where you get to play as her, plus the third person mode, which is pretty cool. So we're going to be checking those out. Uh, and I can't wait to uh, get around to doing that tomorrow. But until then, you guys, thank you all so much for hanging out today. I'm going to end the stream now.